Hi guys, hopefully you remember a few weeks ago I introduced the slide zoom feature to you in a very short video. It was a really basic example, but I'm hoping it kind of gave you enough to go and play with that a little bit. What I want to do today though is just take it one step further and show you how you can apply some really nice imagery to create a presentation that doesn't really even feel like a PowerPoint anymore. So let's take a look. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I've just got a couple of dummy slides here. Let's imagine that the slide I've got with the very boring looking bar chart on it at the moment, that's the main piece of co content that we want to focus in on. And we've got a team page here, um, which for the moment I've just dropped in everyone's favorite actor, Matt Damon. Um, of course you could have as many slides as you wanted to. Most presentations normally have anywhere between sort of 20 to 40 slides and upwards of there, of course. But I wanna keep this very simple for you and keep it very focused in on that slide zoom feature. Now, if I just go back up to slide one, you can see what I've done here is I've grabbed an image, and by the way, this image is from an amazing website called unsplash.com. I recommend you go and check it out for free, very professional stock photography that you don't need to worry about paying for. You're not gonna get caught out with copyright or anything like that. Go and check that out. But I've chosen this image because I want to insert my two bits of content onto this image so that we end up with a really dynamic presentation. So I'm gonna show you how to do this, of course, and if we go to the insert menu, there is the feature that I mentioned to you guys a few weeks ago, slide zoom. I'm gonna click on slide zoom, and first of all, I'm gonna select slide two. I'm gonna insert it, and there we go. It's dropped straight onto the screen. I'm gonna put that on the laptop screen, and then I'm gonna to go to the zoom tools at the very top here. And these are some quite important steps to remember. I wanna get rid of the outline. I don't wanna see an outline around where that slide's actually sitting. What I also wanna do is go over here on the left and click this option. I wish this was selected as a default. It's really annoying you have to click it every time, but I can kind of live with it because it's an amazing feature. So click on return to zoom, and essentially that means we're gonna zoom in from our slide one into slide two, but then we're gonna return back to slide one. I'm gonna to go to the insert menu and do that again. So straight to slide zoom, choose slide three for my team slide. Now, the issue I've got here is that I'm seeing a lot of white background. So what I can do is go to zoom tools, again, get rid of that border, but this time go to zoom background and click on that. There we go, that's got rid of the background and I can make this fit onto the iPhone screen a little bit better. If I wanted to be really spot on with this, which of course you do wanna be, I would probably give it a tiny bit of rotation. There we go, something like that. And if I zoom all the way back out, there we go. Um, one thing I didn't do though, and this would have caught me out uh, if I'd have gone any further, again, I didn't click return to zoom. So always try and remember to do that because uh, it will catch you out. I'd like to think everyone's rehearsing their presentations anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. But what I can now do is click on the present button and I can use this PowerPoint deck as a conversational presentation. So let's click on the bar chart and we physically zoom into it. We deliver the content here. We explain the different variables between the various different columns and so on. We then zoom back out. This is that return to zoom option taking effect. And then I can grab the mouse again because someone wants to know about the team members involved in this project. So I can click on the phone and we zoom in there. And then we click again, we zoom back out. So imagine this is almost like your presentation home screen or your dashboard, whatever terminology you wanna to give to it. But it enables you to create a very, very dynamic conversational uh, based presentation 
It doesn't have to be conversational at all. You could click through this in a set linear format, but what it means is when you come to ask your audience if they have any questions, you can very easily click to go straight back to your content. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to do. All I did was went to the unsplash.com website and grabbed the image of the desk with the uh, laptop and the phone. I already had my PowerPoint slide deck made up, so the content was there, and I used insert slide zoom and then placed those bits of content onto slide one. So it's very much like a, how should we say, a, a, another type of presentation that you could probably go and create somewhere else. I'm not saying any more. But it's a really, really powerful tool, very easy to use. If you want any more detail on that, if you need any support with presentation design training, get in touch. As always, please comment below, like, share this video, and I shall see you on the next one. Take care.